Hello again, Gay, here in this video. This is a reply video to Four Lost Fools. That's right. I wasn't going to do this, but he had to go make a second video and keep sticking his foot in his mouth. Okay, so first off, I guess we will address uh, the same issue we already addressed, okay? When he first started attacking me, he claimed that I ignored one of his emails, okay? But if Four Lost Souls would have sent it to both my emails, to Four Souls in their heart. The TFL Truth channel and the Bill 122462 account, I would have received it, but I was suspended for two weeks out of the Bill 122462 account, and he sent the email that I never seen to that account when I couldn't get in there to read it, so therefore I wouldn't know I had it. He sent the second email telling me uh, that I didn't answer his email, okay? Well, he sent that email to the TFL Truth account, so I saw it, okay? But since he's denying some of the stuff he's in here, I've got something to show you. And I will show you this, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, as you see there, that's out of my email. That's right there. He sent that. Remember his words, his words to me. So, how do you take it when he says that if I know anything about black people, then I would know that the black people are God's chosen people? <laughs> okay, so if I was to say to him, you don't know anything about white people. If you knew anything about white people at all, you would understand that white people are God's chosen people. Would that not be a racist statement? Would that not be racist? Would that not be saying that I am above you because of my skin color? Would that not be what that's saying? So when he told me in that email, as you just saw, if you didn't see it, back it up and look again. So when he told me that if I do anything about black people, that I should understand that they're God's chosen people, that was basically him saying, because he has black skin, he's above me. So he has a problem with recognizing skin color. Okay? Now, let's go onward. This is for your own good. Yo, stop lying on me on your radio show talking about, um, I said that my race was superior. I never said that my race was superior. Angels nothing up seven never said that either. So what'd you see there? Mm hmm Yeah, you know what you saw there, right? So, uh... I guess uh, when he made this video last night, okay, when he made that video last night, he made two of them yesterday, okay, two replies to me, and the second one I just seen this morning when I got up, and it's filled for comments, okay, so Four Lost Fools, he says this to Cypress 27, he says, there is no such thing as a black racist person, because Caucasian start all the evil, and refuse to pay any re reputations or whatever you want to call it, that they know that they are, oh, black people worldwide period, okay, so that we owe black people worldwide period, you mean so I owe the black people for something that happened long before I was born and before he was born, let's see, Caucasian people start all the evil in the world, it's only okay Caucasian people, so uh, I guess what I have to say is, Who's the one recognizing skin color, and who is the one with the racist issue here? Because I tell people you look at somebody for who they are and quit looking at the damn skin color. Because I actually want to see the racism stop. Now, Four Lost Souls here, he don't want to see the racism stop. He wants to keep the division. And it's right there in your face. Because now you've seen the comments under the video, what he said to Cyprus. Now you've seen his statement to me that I should know that the black people are God's chosen people. And you've seen the words out of his own mouth, under his own video. 
reply to me, saying how all the Caucasian people are the evil, blah, blah, blah. So, who's calling the racist card? It's very apparent and plain. Who has a problem is you, not me. Okay, so now let's move on to the next issues, okay? Watch it. And I just read a personal message from him that I got on here, right? He said, and I know he's telling the truth, that you do not watch his entire videos. Okay? And video responses, he said to you, you don't post, and you don't regard. Well, you can't regard something you don't watch. Hello. Now, once again, there you are assuming, okay? There you are assuming for other people. You have guessed what they're doing, and even if they didn't do it, you're going to say they did it. Isn't that right? Isn't that how you work for a lot of souls? Or William, you might want to say his real name here, but because I'm not going to hide my name, but you are yours. But just the same. So there, William, uh, I'll say this to you, okay? I said it openly on the radio show. Okay, I've said it openly in video, and I'll say it openly again, so that maybe when you're playing selective hearing, pulling out the words that you want to hear and throwing the rest away, maybe you'll remember this. I doubt it, because you might throw it away too, right? Since you do play selective hearing. Okay, but just the same, here we go, okay? I've watched many of Angel Snuff Snuff's videos, and the video reply I made to Angel Snuff Snuff, I thought was very respectable. I really do. I didn't slam the man in no way at all. I only pointed out what I believe to be an issue that just helps keep the division going. That's all I did, okay? And I did it in a respectful manner. And I made it clean and clear on the show that no, when I see a title that says black men are superior, blah, blah, blah. When I see a title to a video that says all Caucasian people are not allowed on my blog talk radio show. When I see titles like this for names of videos, I'm not watching them. When you give a video a racist, bold-facedly open racist statement for a name, I'm not going to watch it, whether you talked about it or not. Plain and simple. It's division, just like what Four Lost Fools wants. But that's all right, Four Lost Fools. I hope you enjoy the concentration camps that you'll be headed to, okay? Because you have to have your division, and that's exactly what the global elite want, is us divided. So you might as well go stand next to Rothschilds and Rockefellers and drop your knees for them, okay? Because you're doing a good job of being their slave. Because you don't want to fight the enemy. You want to fight the people around you and allow your enemy to fuck you in the ass, don't you? Isn't that what you really want to do for all souls? Here, let's watch up. You are phony, okay? You don't live the three letters that's on this hat. Okay? If you used to live it, and, and you're not living it, if you used to live it back in the day, but you're not living it now, newsflash, you're not TFL no more. Okay? Stop. Now that there only proves my point. That's right. If you used to live it, and you get a girlfriend in your life, you don't live it no more, so now you're all okay. All the trauma, the whole life experiences goes away. Right, so when you went to war and you got post-traumatic syndrome, okay, and you come home, that just went away because you wasn't fighting a war no more, you know? If you uh, get handicapped and get in a wreck and you get injured, I mean, it goes away because the accident's over now. <laughs> it just like as if the damage just goes away. <clears throat> See, the guy don't know what the first thing is. You don't know what you're talking about. You haven't the first clue. For one, you're assuming you're walking in my shoes. For one, you're claiming that you're inside my body, that you're inside my home, and that you see everything that's going on around me, and that you know everything in my life, and you're claiming that somebody that lives TFL, the minute they meet a girl, it's over with. They don't live it no more, and they're happy, and it just all goes away. And there was never no damage. And if that damage just heals right up, right away, goes away, you know, it's like a cut. It's gone within a week, right? Not. Maybe you need to go back and restudy what true force loneliness is. Because it's obvious you don't understand it. You seem to think that you can be pushed into TFL, live your whole life, be torn from the inside out, completely emotionally and mentally destroyed. You could go 28 years of your life living TFL, and the minute 
you may accidentally meet a girl or somebody comes into your life that's, oh, all the damage is gone. It just went away like that. Yeah, yeah. It was the magic cure. It was better than cancer. It was gone just like that. Huh? That just comes to show you haven't the first clue of what you're even talking about. Okay? To say that I'm a phony, well, you don't know me. You don't know me. You never have and probably never will because one thing you fail to do is communicate. You fail terrible on communication. Because, see, if you had a question or a problem, if you really wanted the answers, you would have tried to talk to me. You would have come at me and emailed me. You would have went to Dwayne and said something, and Dwayne would have said something to me. He had said something to Big Boss Calvin, and he had said something to me or asked me. Yeah, or you could have called me at home. That's right. You would have attempted to talk to me. You didn't attempt to talk to me. It's no different than you sending me an email asking for the TFL gear and I send it to you and you never even send a thank you. That's right. You not you don't even send a thank you. You take it for gracias. And I sit there and hear you say all this crap. But anyhow, let's see what else he's going to say. You are happy with the opposite sex because you have somebody that's from the opposite sex. Okay? One of your members in particular, I'm not going to say who, he will never have the real thing. You know why? Because he's mean-spirited. Just like you. And it doesn't help his cause if he's an ugly dude. And too short, by the way. That really doesn't help his cause. In addition to the fact that his, his spirit on the inside is ugly. He's always right, and I'm always wrong, or anybody that disagrees with him on the racism topic, okay? That's how you frauds in this movement get down. Is somebody... Okay, now... He's talking about Warren right there. That's who he was talking about, okay? And <clears throat> I ain't going to have room to put all his video replies into my videos because he made them both 15 minutes long. But it don't much matter because he's pretty much said everything I need to hear, okay? For one, he says he's walking in my shoes, okay? For two, he thinks that I just accidentally understood what TFL was and just accidentally gave it a name. For three, he thinks the minute you meet a girl in your life that means TFL's over, all the damage was done to you before that time just goes away just like that. Okay? <laughs> For four, whether you have a girl in your life does not mean shit because if you live TFL enough years, once you get a girl in your life, the damage is still going to be there. It's going to take a long time to heal, and if that relationship don't work out, three months later she's gone. You're back to living it again, but according to Four Lost Souls, you're all better the day it happens. <laughs> okay, according to the guy who don't communicate with the people that he's attacking, that's right, who does not even try to communicate with people he's attacking before he attacks them. He just attacks them, okay? And you've seen what he said there under the video comments to his video yesterday. You tell me.